Let's go, let's go. They, do you really shoot the shoot the halibut once you get them close to the surface? We just shoot the halibut every Thursday. Fellas, get back in that current. <laughs> I love it. I hate That's alright. I hate me too, but it's okay, right? <laughs> like a really fat branch definitely <laughs> should we just fast forward to the part where I say so you got skunked <laughs> I have a yeah. question for you so you came to yeah. the right place but no I listen <laughs> welcome back to the Rutten River Pursuits podcast. podcast you are in the current we are Reality Outdoor Radio, where our mission is to get you in the outdoors by connecting you with the people, skills, and products you can trust. You, you can, can trust, trust them. them. Mm-hmm. I'm Steve. It's Bucky. It's Will. Hey, I'm Ryan. And this is Pick. And there's been a lot of deer being put down recently, hasn't there? Pick's back. A couple. There has been. Yeah. Hey, guys. Good to see you again. Hey, Mick. Good on you, Pig. Before we get into Congrats, all this whitetail talk, Ryan, why don't you tell us a little more about this month's sponsor? All right. I'll tell you about this month's sponsor. Tell me. This month's episodes are brought to you in part by Protection First Class Outdoors. PFC Lubes were designed and developed to protect and lubricate your firearms, your bows, your tree stands, heck, all your outdoor equipment. What about fishing rods? Absolutely fishing rods, Stevie. You know it. No way. You know it. Even knives? You can use it on all your knives, Bucky. The ones you made and the ones you bought. Guys, I'm telling you, this stuff was originally designed to use an automotive undercoating. Now, it don't get more corrosive than that. I heard that. That's true. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, buddy. Does it leave a film or residue? Absolutely not, Brian. No film, no residue. This stuff isn't going to harm the bluing on your firearms, any other kind of finish you got on any of your other outdoor products. This stuff is the ticket. And what now? Wait. I bet it freezes. It does not freeze, Bucky. What? But there's one more thing I got to tell you about. This stuff will also act as a cover scent. You got how me. Many, how many times have you ever taken a well-protected and lubricated piece of equipment in the outdoors? It stinks, boys. It yes, stinks. It does. Not this stuff. They got the earth and the pine cover scent mixed right into the lubricant. Wow. They come out of everything. That's right, guys. Make sure you head on over to pfcoutdoors.com. Check out everything they got going on over there. Pick up some of that lube. It's the ticket. Pick, it is good to have you back, bud. It's good to be back I around this table. You. Yeah. It's nice being in the current again. It is. What have you been up to? Current's getting a bit chilly. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah, have yeah. To get out of the water soon. <laughs> Fishing should be good, though, in it. Probably. Seems like it. I Probably. Been Catfish is killing <laughs> it still, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he is. I wouldn't even know what the water temp would be. I haven't even gotten close to water. Uh-uh. I, uh, I got to imagine it's 50. Down to 50s, yeah, yeah, by now, right? I had a hard frost on the truck this morning. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something else. Man. No, sir. Hard it frost. frost. Yes, you scraped that windshield. Soft frost. <laughs> Not a soft frost. Oh. Uh, this was a good hard frost on the windshield. Already? I didn't scrape it. I actually just started a truck a little early. You, okay. No, what you do is you just hit it with the washer juice, and then it skins over. Yeah. <laughs> and then you hit it again, and then, I it got skins, then you hit it again. Oh. This is that yeah. time of year where you can get away with that in about two more months. You try you to do that. You can get away with it all winter it. long. <laughs> It's not advisable. Yeah, you go through a lot of wiper fluid. Yes, you yeah. do. I'm surprised a guy like you does that, Stevie. As frugal as he you are. Di- he dilutes it, I bet. <laughs> he does half and half mixture. <laughs> I use salt water. <laughs> or uh, antifreeze. In <laughs> antifreeze. <laughs> you hit up yeah. the boys at uh, PFC Outdoors for some of their salt spray tank. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, their salt spray. Their overspray. When they're done they with it, they ship the it to me. They bottle up the overspray. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Don't waste my. that rusty salt. <laughs> <laughs> I can use that. No, anyway, 
No, it is getting cold. Does that mean the rut's starting? You it's on. What? It's on its way. Yeah, we ain't far away. It's yeah. on its way. Yeah, we. I think till the episode actually drops, we're going to be just shy of November. Yeah, and uh, we're we're right at that happy yeah. happy mark. Is there a full moon phase part to the rut? Do you think? Is this too much rut talk? No, there's no, never I mean, too much. Are you rut kidding talk. me? I, we're right I know at the point shows, where we should be. There's podcasts out there that exclusively deal with the rut. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Truth. So for me, I do not solely subscribe to the moon theory. Yeah. You know that the moon drives the rut. Yeah. Um, I think the moon impact is more. I, I talked about this not too long ago when we had a full moon coming up over a weekend yeah. where we were going to do a lot of hunting. Um, I believe that the moon affects movement, mm -hmm. but I don't think it triggers a rut. You don't. Yeah. I, I agree with you, Ryan. I think yeah. it's more um, other conditions, more environmental, uh, how, what what the temp is. Mm -hmm. and, and and moisture, rain, wind, that those kinds of things. And and if the deer feel feel pressured, I think that might activate more doe to start to go into that season Could because then they need to get the job done to get to, I don't know about, to get on. I don't know if the pressure triggers it. Could it just, I think it just not the pressure, the air pressure, but what I mean is the the, the combination of cold. It, the colder it gets, if you we didn't get a frost, pressure, right? Not hunting pressure okay. at all. That's where I thought you were going with that. The Just barometric the, the, pressure. The pressure of changing seasons, and it's going to get winter's going to come. The shorter the shorter daylight, days, I think, has has an but impact. But then, but if that's if that is it, then then it would come around the exact same time, usually give or take a few weeks every year. It does. It well, does. Could it just be so, <laughs> that the rut is going to happen when it happens, regardless of all those things and all those things that happen are just coincidence. But yes, that it, makes I sense? mean it's gonna. It is going to happen. Like that. There's nothing influences it. Well, no, at but all. the things that influence it are because they're all going to happen. There are things that happen that same time of year. We could, kind of light we could actually say, I, I do give you that. I think it's trick or treat. Really? Yeah, it's, it's trick sweeter. or treat nights, and how the uh, local ordinances change. Check to your determine regs. what night trigger treat is supposed to be for the kids. It's like mm. check your township regs, like estrus yeah. regs. <laughs> I, the estrus regs. Yeah. I can yeah. see that. Like they don't allow deer to go in estrus in certain WMUs until certain dates. No, it's it it has it has many different things that will trigger it. The trigger, I think, is anecdotal. Is it right? It's it's going to be about the same time every year. We talked about this not too long ago about how there are. Um, in different um, different areas of the country, mm -hmm. it comes in at different times. Now, is that a direct correlation to the moon? I'd say not, because it's the same. You know, full moon is is the full moon on this date. Yeah, that's what so, I mean. Like, so know, that's why. What is that thing? Is it cold? Is it well? What's that it's, state? It's Isn't there a state where uh, or, uh, down south there's a rut that happens in? Yeah, uh, Jeff, Uncle Jeff Barron was telling us about. His, I think his rut comes in when we're at the outdoor show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like January, in, in late January. Then it has to be temperature. Tex Texas is another big mm -hmm. one that that people will hunt the rut in Texas um, in January time frame. It's got to um, be air temperature then. Yeah, temperature is one of those things that I would subscribe to as one of the I'm sure air temperature I'm that, sure somebody's what I mean is, <laughs> study on it right it there, doesn't get that cold until to be that some late kind of in right. those areas but it's also cyclical yeah. well what if you <laughs> took like one of those Texas deer and brought it up to Pennsylvania that's what someone they should do. They would freeze, bud. They would head right <laughs> back. <laughs> this is where I'll lean, it, I'll lean hard on our check your eggs thing because with uh, all the CWD talk, I don't think you're allowed to do that anymore. Well, for science. In the oh, name of science. science. In the name of science. <laughs> I think that would clear all this up, yeah. right? Like, boom, right there. Problem solved. I'm, I'm guessing that that type of research has been I, done. If you relocate a deer yeah. to that area where the rut doesn't come in until later, what what does happen and i think that those studies have actually been done which is why it's a combination of all of those things right the the shorter yeah, daylight hours yeah the 
pressure's dropping, the temperature's dropping, sure. all that fun we stuff. We should probably ask Siri. I'm going to ask Google. Yeah. Do it. Hey, Google, what triggers the deer rut? According to Go Hunt, similarly in bucks, a decrease in daylight produces melatonin, which in turn increases testosterone production. Simply put, decreasing daylight causes hormonal changes in deer that triggers the rut. Well, there you Simply go. Well, it, Even the Googles is right. Let me be the first to say that just, it is the decreasing daylight hours <laughs> that starts the rut. <laughs> then that does so explain that a later rut in in the well, south. Well, then where we're Eastern time, so maybe it gets darker. Time, but in maybe January. Maybe if, the, if you also take into consideration your your box to dough ratio, mm. tides, rotations. Yeah. I'm going to guess that there are probably unsuccessful breeding sessions. Ask my wife. Yeah. Most well, of I was going to say. <laughs> there's some. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to. When in doubt, I'm going to back out. You know, if you, <laughs> like where we're at in Pennsylvania, the buck to doe ratio is, well, if you take QDMA standards, we're out of whack. You yeah. Know? There's a lot more, a lot more dough, uh, dough than there should be yeah. in that ratio. So it's going to take a longer period of time for the buck to be able to breed as many dough as they can. So those dough that are, and that goes back to that cyclical nature of yeah, things. Right, the right. dough that are bred later are going to drop their fawns later, which are going to come into the estrus cycle later the following year. I so, tell you yeah. what, I it's don't, just a self fulfilling yeah. prophecy. Sure. It's a circle like of life. <laughs> Just somebody I let like me know, so because I, I, I need all well, the help I can so, get to shoot it one. Sounds that's like for sure. that, that, that it's settled then. Yep. <laughs> Regardless that of, up. of when it comes in, you got to be in the woods. Yeah. So come yeah, mid October, exactly right, be in the pick. woods till mid November. Yeah. I got Just, I got another question, mm -hmm. Ryan. You brought up CWD. This easy one. <laughs> this is yeah. This one you Good. brought up CWD, dear. Someone at work was telling me, and I don't know how much truth there is to this. So if there is no truth, then he just edit like it out. Sounds like a real straight shooter. But uh, that there are certain uh, not not um, WMUs or counties, but certain zones mm -hmm. now where. Potentially next year in Pennsylvania, there's going to be no limit to to deer. I did you are you hearing that? No, I think I those are those that. are rumors that are being started. I mean, they're really? going to be there's there's already areas that they've identified as CWD quarantine zones. Yeah, when yeah. it's essentially take them all. No, no, no. And now that's what that was the rumor I was hearing. Yeah, I think that's just guys that are hopeful, really, uh, or something like that because. I th I heard like ten percent or something 10%. like that. Or maybe I don't know exactly. It's a small. What's that? An they, increase in the sales, <laughs> the antlerless deer sales. The, they want it to be like down to ten percent of what it was. So like a ninety percent elimination. Yeah. Right, but if wow, that's a lot of deer. If they're if if the idea there is to reduce the deer herd based on the scientific evidence as far as the impact that CWD is having, mm -hmm. then th that that intention is ludicrous, uh, to say the least, because that same science is also there to tell them that the prions that are spread will live in the ground dormant for 100 years. So unless yeah. you completely eradicate no your herd falling. for over yeah. 100 years and then reintroduce them to the area. And burn Otherwise, the ground. There's, yeah. there's, that's, that's a lot of work, it sounds. Yeah. So there could that be. just seems like a really and just crappy going, and, plan. And just going out and killing deer, that's non-selective. I mean, you, you don't know yeah. which deer carries it or not carry it until after the, the deer is taken. Right. So, I mean, just going out and wiping out the, you know more deer yeah. isn't necessarily going to help the... I, I'm not... I I'm, think that's a bit of an overreaction. Is, is, is there any settled... Yeah. Science on whether it's safe or unsafe to eat. There's been no CWD, proof that yeah. that that disease is transmitted to humans. Really? Same with is it the triple E or something? Check your regs, but what, what call blue it? tongue? Not not blue tongue. There's another one. I thought it was called. They referred to as triple E. I forget what it stands for, but um, that one's also not been proven to really? be transmittable. That's to where humans. Bucky's grandfather came from. Triple E. <laughs> Tripoli. Tripoli. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. Did you just get there, Stevie? <laughs> yep. Welcome. They took the long oh way. Oh, my. Sorry. 
took the long way. Oh home. my! Well, that's all I got. <laughs> Do it all the questions. Another questions, TV? No, no, no. no okay. That's it. All right. Eastern yeah. equine encephalitis is that's really about it. horses, but right. But it's how <laughs> beast. It's it's been found cloven. in in wild in cloven deer. Eastern Shore, Maryland. <laughs> yes, in the Eastern Shore. How do Eastern Shore horses have anything to do with deer and horse horses and stuff? <laughs> because they're sika figures. <laughs> Oh my Triple E So w- While I don't Think mm-hmm. That the rut Is on Yet Yeah I believe We are Approaching that Time of year Where The daylight Is waning You're gonna see Absolutely. Bucks cruising Yep You're gonna see uh, The bucks Just scent checking Does uh, And Doe areas When I say Scent checking They're gonna be Running ridges And stuff be in the downwind side of a field just before dark where yeah. they're expecting does are probably out there. They're going to just run the edge of it, scent check. You know, this is the time of year when it doesn't hurt maybe to start throwing out a little bit of that estra scent. You know, it's not that early check that you're going to spook them at this point. Uh, it's also, I don't do a lot of it, but. If you're comfortable and confident and you think you've got enough dominant buck in the area, start throwing out some blind grunt calls. Maybe do some rattling, things like that, because this is the time of year when the bucks are vying for dominance um, and they're, they're looking it? for that first doe to pop. Okay. Yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I had a, a, a small buck make vocalizations under the tree. Really? Yeah. What do you say? Bark. What the <laughs> Bart? That's what he said. That's what he and I was surprised. He he came out and he was a little four point and walked underneath the tree and nice. stopped. And as he turned, he let out a grunt. Send it. and I <laughs> I didn't send it. Was this in Maryland? Yeah, this was, was in Maryland. Of course. So I heard a I heard a couple way legal. vocalizations and I I was surprised to hear that that early. But uh, you didn't want to use one of your sixteen buck tags for for that one. <laughs> no, no, no. So I, I agree. It's starting to. But then yeah. a week later, I'm still seeing you know two and three bucks in a group. Yep. So Underneath they're they're not. Stand. Uh, well, they were out there a little bit. I guess <laughs> those yeah, yeah, ten but those, yards. <laughs> those Maybe bachelor 12. groups are, are breaking up if they haven't yeah. already. Um, they're not going to be friends much longer. You're right. I can uh, see that happening at yeah. this point, and they'll stay solitary and isolated until basically after most of the hunting season in this area is over. Uh, they'll yard back up again toward the, the hard part of the winter. Yeah. And then they'll be buddies all through the spring and summer. Do they shed before they become buddies again? Or is that at the same time? That's a good question. I don't know if, if there's any correlation to it. I, I wouldn't imagine that there no, is. No. But I, I've, I've had... They, I think at that point, like, they're... Uh, they do... It's a hormonal thing, well, right? I think they kind of all herd up for feeding purposes. Like, they... Uh. Like they Bucks and doe run together at that point, just like they are now. I mean, it just cycles around. I, it, go, going back to your, you know, shed shed antlers and when a buck sheds. I, last year, I have pictures in March, yeah, of a buck still hard horned. It was like March tenth or twelfth, something like that, and it was the latest. Yeah, you hear about some that kind of I had weird ever exceptions seen. to the rules. Yeah, he was like just a you know small time. deer, but he still had uh, had uh, hardware wow. on his head. So speaking of Buckshed, <laughs> he's got <laughs> one in the back. I have all my hair, thank you. <laughs> You've been uh, getting out quite a bit this past Damn, week, Bucky. haven't you, bud? The, yeah, I, I've been out a couple times this past week, and uh, Ooh. <laughs> I, how, I, how, how are the sets going? I, it's bittersweet, y'all, because. It just seems like I'm the guy that always sees something. Yeah. Always. But n- never something I can shoot, either because it's a little too far out or of range. Or it's passing. Or it's not it's, in season. It's, it's, yeah. And I had one, uh, like Saturday, I was out. I uh, got out early. I, I got up in the single stand over where Will took his buck. And 
I thought I was going to have a great morning. I thought for sure it's going to be on. It's on. And uh, it was cold I Saturday. Bet. I, was scared, nice. yeah. I scared I would have bet big. a paycheck that something would yeah. be walking through there. I scared something big just as I was getting to the bottom of where I needed to just walk another 80 yards up to the How tree stand. How do you know stand. the size of it? Was you going in at daylight? What's that? You said you scared something big. Were you? So well, I just it just sounded big when it That's crashed through the woods ahead of me as like I walked summary. in, and uh, I got up in the stand, got settled in. Was it an F one fifty? Long story. Uh, sunrise comes up. It's quiet. Yeah, like right now. Like right now, and <laughs> and then. An hour after sun up, seven thirty ish. I think something something nice is going to come in left to right as I'm sitting over where these pine trees are. Just exactly like it's pine trees into some hardwood, like script, like Ryan has talked about. Mm-hmm. You know, with those pines and enough for me. I was standing up already. I picked up. I had the crossbow in hand and yeah. and ready. It's on. And it's 10 minutes of this, guys. <laughs> 10 what? minutes. And Is I, it circling you? So I know. What it, was it? The predator? Like, what? You, are you hurt? You're hearing it, but you're not seeing it? Not seeing it. It, 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 it just frustrating. But it's it's loud. It's not it a went. squirrel. It's definitely it not a squirrel. <laughs> I, I, no, don't even go there. So, quit slow rolls. I start seeing movement on the ground. Black spots. Next thing, it's turkey. Oh. And, 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 and yeah. if I saw one, I saw close to 20. Is Did turkey you see season one? in? No. No. <laughs> and, but what was cool was they, they worked in and they were, they were down hill from me. And some bird behind me squawked out a warning thought, call or I something. I was going to say, some bird brain. Behind <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, what did it sound like? Some old like, lady. The I, warning I, call. I, I don't even know what kind of a, a bird it well, was. make it, it up was, just to but, patronize. But, it it sto- but like anyway, it, sto- it stopped. Jail. Every <laughs> one of these turkey, they immediately turned and looked, all crouched down, settled in, held still. A couple minutes passed and they would start couple scratch and you know would peck while they were just laying there and then they just started working and they didn't come any more closer to me or uphill they slowly just all turned around went uphill about another 10 minutes later i saw movement way uphill and then i watched them work all the way across the ridge it was it was a beautiful that it, right there did, was a great morning so is that what was making the yes noise yes yeah. and i it thought for sure it was Jason a big old be- buck from <laughs> and i was so excited guys i was like i was even shaking i was starting to shake oh is, were there any hen or uh were was, there any gobblers it or was jakes? i saw a, a bunch of jakes what i think yeah, were yeah. jakes a lot of short beards yeah, yeah. um and nothing that really popped out as dominant but i think it was some jakes and Ends. Yeah, and yeah, that's cool. Just that's very awesome, cool buck. Yeah, t- at twenty, and I, ah, I always, I always see something when I can't I, shoot yeah. it. Or it's I'll be just... honest with you, I, I saw turkey one time there, and yeah. he sees turkey every time he goes out. I, I have no clue how it happens or why they like <laughs> him more than me, but uh, yeah, I don't get that opportunity. And then I. I w- I've been out another night, two more nights since then. I had a buck that was just out of shooting range at the end of, uh, at at the right at last light. In fact, I had a hold up in the tree stand, and this was over in the other one in the double wide. Um, and I had to hold up there for a little bit so I could walk out without spooking him. Really? And then last night, I took a muzzle loader out with me. There you go. And, you know, just Bucky's luck. Little more inst- yeah, inst- for inst- dough. Instead of for a dough. Yeah. And, inst- and, and, and with my luck, I see a something. Walks I see three dough. What uh-huh. looked like dough, if they were buttons, then they, you know, I they were buttons. But I didn't even get the scope on them because they were so far out. I wasn't even gonna, I'm not even gonna put it out there. I was hoping they were gonna work, but 
oh well i i mean i'm in it guys it's it's just That's cool it's a matter of you're seeing you're them. That putting in the time it's time. gonna happen yeah it's gonna happen How you- i'm not discouraged because i'm seeing something and and it, it it could be a heartbreaking here because it's just like close but always no cigar but oh well yeah, this just- time. what i've learned and 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 i know that i'm still enough I don't stink I'm bad good enough. enough. I'm smart I'm enough. Gosh, I'm gosh, smart gosh, enough. gosh darn it. He all went to the same place. But, <laughs> That's amazing. But I, but I, th- I am proving certain things to myself that I'm doing the right things, that I, yeah. I can get yeah. deer that, to come hey, to good. around me. I just... And and what and I'm glad to hear about like the doe and esters. I I, I just I, that was my that's been my biggest frustration is how can I just get them just to, something to get a, a little well, bit closer yeah. to me and yeah. how are you doing with the stand getting up getting down and are you comfortable guys these ladder stands. He's transitioning. The ticket, I'm huh? done. Really? I mean, yeah. I, it's not even a. It's not even a thought anymore. I'm up oh, and down. I'm hear. not freaked Good. out by them. I'm. I can even unclip and put another shirt on or or whatever. That's cool. Um, in fact, truth be known. I well, forgot. I forgot my dirty? harness on last Saturday, <laughs> and I got up in the single without one. I wasn't going to go back. Yeah. I, I no. I was boom. Get up in there, and I was a big boy. Yeah, and yeah. I just dealt. Yeah, and overcame that. Well, why do like, you change your shirt up there? I, I had more layers once I walk in, oh, so I'm not all sweaty. I thought you like got a jelly on it or ketchup, something. No. Ketchup stain. No. Ketchup. <laughs> no, I don't actually change. I I put more layers on as I as gotcha. as I once I walk in, I want to cool down a little bit. I don't mm-hmm. want to sweat, so I try to sure. walk in as Smart. hard as possible. Yeah, absolutely. And then I start the to, to add it. layers. Well, be safe up there. I'm glad you're getting. Guys, it's you're getting. I'm having it. fun. You see, like I'm it. having fun. I like it, and I have the fever. Like Will, Will even said, uh, you you know, pheasant opens Saturday. <laughs> it does, and I'm like, but that would be great. But you know, if a group gets too big, or if we don't go out, I'm going deer hunting. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, right now, I at least want to put something brown on the ground. And then I can maybe go bird hunting once or twice yeah. and then get back to the... We have to go bird hunting this year again. That was so. That was too much fun to not do again. I'm with you, Stevie, but, but I, I'm on a mission I right love now. that there's a butt now. I, oh. I'm on a mission, and I want... So good. Yeah, from here on out, though, this time of year, you, it's you got to be in the woods. One, I have two tags. I want to... I, my, my goal is to fill both of those tags this yeah. year. Um, but... I, I'll be blessed if antlerless I can get tags. one. Don't, don't, no, no, no I, I, I'm no. just. I just got no. one antler okay. list for this year. You know, I just realistic. You want to get a buck I, and a doe. A buck and a doe, and I think that's a realistic goal yeah. for me. Yeah, that's and, it. and I didn't want to set my sights too high, and and I just or too to be low. Realistic. I mean, you Are passed on a legal buck. I didn't know it was legal though. <laughs> And That's true. He and, can't be held accountable for what check your he regs. perceived we to be. We say it every week. <laughs> yeah, I'm just picking. Yeah. Or else I'd my, let it fly. Uh, right now uh, it is because I've spent enough time in the stand. Yeah. Now he knows. It's, it's, it's on. Yeah, yeah. I, I have too much time invested to let anything at this point pass. I'm sure. happy for you, Buck. This is great. I mean, it, like you it said, I, it, every time you go out is a new experience. You learn something. You learn what to do, what not to do. So it, it, it's great to hear your enthusiasm and see your enthusiasm here sitting at the table. So that, that's awesome. And the two-hour sits, like I promised, the two-hour sits are just as meaningful as the 14-hour sit. Yeah. You know, and and – this is great. That's Thank awesome. You. Thank you. That's it's cool. because of this campfire here or this current. No, I think you're making better decisions. And even like, I know you're kind of exploring different things and like going to different stands and stuff. But honestly, like, like you're picking good stands. You're, you know, going to the morning stand and going to the evening stand and like things that, you know, I mean, yeah. you're going to see. Chances are you're going to see deer anytime at those places, but like, you know, like I said, like a, the one stand we know, I've seen a couple of deer there at 730, you know, or 650, yeah, you know, and they're, they're cruising through and then you don't see them for till much later right you know? now 650 is dark yes yeah. so uh-huh. yeah. super dark and i did tell that story about how i wanted to jump out of the stand mm-hmm. and 
beat you the crap couldn't out wait of one. five more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, nah! and and talking about last week, we talked about some of the things that Will had to overcome, and and Will and I had a conversation this morning, and I wanted to talk about that for just a brief second. And I am not getting any younger. And it, I was telling Will even earlier this year. Or this week, that this year, golly, um, there there goes the older mind. Um, but uh, <laughs> my body is now letting me know that I am not as young as I think I am, mm-hmm. yeah. and that's the big difference. Like, and I can tell, like I'm wore out, and I am so sore right now, guys. I, I have some things going on with me, you know, because I think I'm pushing a little bit, but it's in a good way. But kudos to guys out there that are older than I am for even the people that are younger than I am with that are overcoming um, handicaps or, or in disabilities or what whatever it is hats off to all y'all for doing that for for anybody like I'm reading stories about uh, 90 year old uh, ladies and men out killing deer right yeah. now and and, nice. and, <laughs> and and that is fantastic it gives me hope I told Will I can promise you I'll I'll give you till about eighty years old. Me doing this and giving you content, um, and one way or another. I'll, I'll After do it. that, uh, maybe he's I, only doing it for himself. I need to slow down a bit, but <laughs> might just but, be fishing. But it is. Um, it's not easy. Physic, you know, the older we get, no. and that's another reason to to enjoy every minute, especially when you're younger. Guys, uh, appreciate it. I wish I would have. Been, like every moment means so much more to me because I've begun this journey so late in life but because of that i push through a lot more and and i think it keeps me younger actually so thank yeah. you cool and, you're in, well uh, get outdoors and get younger you're in it now so that's awesome to yeah. hear <laughs> amen <laughs> so you brought up saturday it was a little chilly mm-hmm. we've got decades of experience around this table right now and what i want to do is I want to I want to test our experience, if I may. Uh, I'm trying to get back to a video I took on Saturday. Um, it was real cold uh-huh. on Saturday. Just to refresh everybody, uh, I was. We were up at our cabin, and my son and I were able to get out, and we made our way back through. Uh, it's the the road that we drive on is called Pine Swamp Road, and it's not just a clever name. There's a reason. Um, this, really? this swamp has been around for a long time. Yeah. yeah. But for the last two years, we haven't been able to cross to get to some stands that we have up on the back half of this swamp because of how th- just wet it's been. Okay. So you haven't checked the stands in two we years? We haven't checked the stands. No we haven't way. done anything. Um, we, have, we just haven't been able to get back there. Last year in rifle season, we literally would have needed a canoe. Uh, to oh, get wow. back through it and hunting the, deer and flooded timber the canoe yeah we could have tried it <laughs> dropping out of nowhere i don't think the canoe would have made it just because how thick like the mountain laurel is and all the other yeah. stuff on the other side of the swamp but anyway it's been a long time since we got back there this past saturday my son and i were able to make our way um in there and get set up and i thought for sure i mean i would have dollars to donuts maybe not shooting but we were seeing something yeah, yeah. so what I want to do is play a little video, and I want you guys to tell me, hopefully the sound comes through, but I want you guys to tell me what we're listening to okay. in this video. That sounds like a stream or a brook. Fire. It, sm- it sounds like running water almost. Yeah, I almost thought it was rain, but it wasn't raining that day. No, no, it wasn't raining. <laughs> Not water, anyway. That was leaves. Was it? Yeah, that's what I meant. There was no wind at all. That's just there leaves wasn't falling. a single what? breeze to be had. That was leaves falling. Wow! Wow! That Rainy sounded leaves. like rain. It wow. sounded like running water. <sighs> And in, in the video, you can watch them. You can see them just yeah, coming, down coming down all yeah. along this hardwood ridge that I'm sitting on the edge of. It was deafening. Was this early in the morning when the frost was still on the ground? The leaves were crispy? It was or? the whole time I was in the woods. Wow. We were out for about three hours. But like it, it was 
it was a frost upstate mm-hmm. uh, yeah. last Saturday. I was crunching coming through the swamp because there's still, I mean, even with as dry as summer as we've had, there's still areas where it's that, that marsh moss. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And so we're still crunching coming through that. The leaves are dry, but yeah. it was dead calm, not a breeze. Mm-hmm. And I think it was just the frost that was there. And then, you know, of course, you get those thermals as the sun comes up. The the There's no wind, but the heat is pulling things up. up. Yeah. yeah. And then the thermals are there. So I think what was happening is the heavy leaf is there. And then as the thermals pull, it's like the leaves are just falling. Yeah. It's just, it's just taking up no off. wind and off. it's just yeah. plucking them off the branches. Wow. That's cool. It was... It was the neatest thing I've ever seen. And it was the most fun I've ever had sitting in a tree stand for three hours and that? not seeing a thing. <laughs> like, I didn't even oh, see yeah. a squirrel. Wow. Nothing. Well, nothing. 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 Between me and my son sitting 300 yards apart. Oh, my. Neither one of you. In a beautiful area that we haven't touched in two years. Like, we should Just, have been covered yeah. up in them. Yeah. Nothing. Wow. To the point where we what, what we're actually hunting on the backside of this swamp is, is a little strip of... Uh, pines and then there's a hardwood ridge on the other side thick super thick mountain laurel Mm -hmm. that strip of pines when we go up generally it's later in archery season when we get to go up yeah or it's just rifle season that stretch of pines is usually covered in scrapes yeah right covered in scrapes you see one where is that not not a a one single one yeah i'd let that area go for another couple years I know I need to get back in there and keep the pressure because now that we let it go for two years, there's nothing. Let it grow. No, I, I think it's just that early. You know, the scrapes that we're seeing right, along right. along the, that transition area between the open pines and the thick hardwoods is where they run. I it's talked just, earlier about how bucks will scent check stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're running those open areas where it's easy for them to maneuver through, mm-hmm. and they're scent checking that whole thick ridge line. You know, that's, it's what they do. It's, it's what bucks do. So anyway, they're, they're making those scrapes. It's just too early this not, past weekend. Not yet. So yeah. if we go up there, I'll bet you two more weeks, uh, we're supposed to go back up. I'll bet you we'll be just, yeah. we'll be seeing scrapes that whole ridge or that whole, um, stretch of pines like I'm used to seeing. You and then, then take we'll some, be in some deer. You might want to take some PFC lube with you for those two year old stands. Those pines. <laughs> <laughs> pine scented. <laughs> Pine scented, yeah. I would use the pine scented up there, yeah. that's for sure. It'd be locked in place. No, we we checked everything when we got to the stand that I put my son up in. We checked it all. He got in, and then I went down a couple hundred yards uh, down the down the timber hmm. and found my stand, climbed in. Good Still go. good. Yep. Good. Squirrels yeah. didn't take care of the uh, No, the and seat. actually, it's funny, it's funny you say that because the one stand actually has uh, padding yeah. on the shooting rail. Not a, alone. not a touch. Not even Jeez. squirrels up nope. there. No squirrels. <laughs> so you were out in the morning or were you out all day? Out in the morning, just for about three hours in the morning. Gotcha. Yeah. Did anyone get out in the evening? <laughs> On Saturday evening? Yeah. No. Anybody I know somebody, guy. somebody yeah, I know a guy that did. I might have. Was did. it Will? Will, did you get out at all? I Saturday did. Saturday night? I did. And Saturday my evening. Saturday morning was... Uh, Oatmeal and flapjacks. It was not <laughs> terrible. <laughs> not cold. <Yeah. laughs> no buck tags around him. He was yeah. set. Yeah, I kind of, I wanted to, you, so I, if I can, I, I'm not going to purposefully mess up Bucky's hunt. If yeah, I, yeah. You know what I mean? Just because when you check off a buck in the in early season, you're not, I'm not saying my motivation is dropped, but the, no pressure. You, you right? don't yeah. have to, you know, let you, you can, can let, breathe. You can yeah. breathe a little yeah. bit. Um so <sighs> you can go pheasant hunting this weekend. Yeah. I can go pheasant hunting. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm not sure what's gonna happen this weekend, but to be determined. So I had breakfast with Leanna and then uh Andy Spittles was processing his deer. Huh. So um I went and ended up going over to cool. his place and uh and just i caught the tail end of it i, I wish yeah. i would have 
you know, been more motivated. Did he let his hang? Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he has a So you showed up, cold. you're like, That's hey, nice. God, oh, I was just about to help you with that. I, I was going to. But you're right. making some scrappies up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, I'll eat one. I don't got time. No, 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 I insist. <laughs> so we processed a little bit, and I gave him a couple pointers on, you know, some of the processing skills that I had acquired over the last year and a half. Next time you wait for Will to get here. No, point, no pointers on skinning? <laughs> For him? No, no, I, no he's got that down. That <laughs> I can do that. Yeah, yeah that, that boy's scun more stuff than I ever will. I, I want to be around to watch him skin something sometime. Just yeah. so I can be like, are you sure you're doing that right? You're right. Just to <laughs> question him on a few things. Yeah. You need some help there, bud. If you really want to get arrogant and weird, uh, Go on. <laughs> Sounds right up our alley. <laughs> I say it to his dad. <laughs> See what happens. I don't mean to be arrogant and weird, but <laughs> I I barely know Andy well enough. I don't think I'm gonna you know, pick on his dad at all. Oh no! But I'll I'll but give it a go. Those with Andy. guys are just you know they're amazing. You know, and I dropped off a hide, which I can tell you a little bit more about that and. I said, let from me your know. buck? <laughs> no, from well, my, uh, you're uh, someone well, you know. <laughs> sorry, maybe I've spoke too soon. Yeah, Go on. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. But I dropped off a hide, and I was like, "How do you want me to do it?" Because I've never a dropped done, off a hide. Dropped <laughs> off a hide. I don't, you know, <laughs> do I just hand it to you, or <laughs> is there like, a protocol? You should, door, you should carry it out of my car. Or, and he, he said, it's just best to just turn it in however you turn it into me. Best yeah. to let him finish. He's like, let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> just let him finish. <laughs> so where did this said hide come from that you were going to drop off? Mm -hmm. So again, before I even get to that, I, I will tell you that. I promise I'm going to get to it. <laughs> I will cook. Spit it out. I know, right? <laughs> so I, Andy, I go to Andy's and uh, we... Uh, I, for the tail end of the deer processing and uh, I had acquired a mu inline muzzle loader to uh, try out yeah to okay. test drive it's, sure. it's for sale and uh, I, I just said hey listen I, you know I, you haven't used it in a while uh -huh. as luck would have it you happen to have a free Saturday afternoon. I have a yeah. Saturday. I'd love this to let me just shoot yeah. it and see what happens. Yeah. yeah. So I, I uh, Andy has a little range there, and um, so I shot the gun. It was shot in perfectly. I yeah. shot it three times, and it was just barely high at uh, fifty yards. And perfect. Then, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna try and make a poke you know anything that's i don't need to in in my woods because right. the, you know if they're close enough i'm going to shoot and if they're if, you know you, you don't have a, a long shot yeah you know it's right, it's, right. it's hardwood so 50 yards is plenty for me um i spit it out <laughs> the funny part's like i'm like just making sure like is anybody going to be up there but you know uh bucky's like no i'm done for the day and uh and I'm like, well, I'm sorry about your luck. Because, <laughs> uh, oh, get up in there. I have an inline, and uh, one of your does over at your stand might not make it. <laughs> get her. <laughs> get one of them. Um, you, you never know, you know, obviously. Yeah. One day to the next. But uh, so I, I climb up in, and uh, and this is the funny part to me. Where I hunt, where. You know, where I killed my buck, rather. Uh, not necessarily, we don't own these, like, locations. Right, right. It's just where I started and he started in another place. And he has it so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I just I've been to. trying to keep it secret. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm down in a hole somewhere and I barely have signal. Like I can, I think messenger is the only thing that works. If anybody sends me a text or a picture, it shuts my oh, whole phone down for, it. <laughs> for at least an hour. Um, I got, so that for some reason, messenger is the only thing that works, which is great for us. But like I said, don't, 
try to communicate. And yeah, yeah. The ladder stand is smaller. My stand's smaller. It's the a, seat it's, is different. It's a hike to get down and get, you know, and then back up. It's like a down and up situation, and the it's steep both yeah. ways, yeah. right? And you carried a loose leaf notebook. Yeah, Go on, Pappy. Yeah. <laughs> no shoes. <laughs> Um, rain right so in your I go, face both ways. <laughs> Bucky's is up a you know a tram road basically. The, it's <laughs> it's uh, you know you can you run. Mean your, the Sherpas didn't carry you up. <laughs> you don't have Sherpas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're you're treating. <laughs> the mule dropped off my pack. Uh, no, it was so. It's not. It's like uh, it takes me a hair longer than it would take Bucky to get to the stand. And anyway, just long story short, you go to the stand, you get up in this couch in the sky with this <laughs> massive hawk stand. Yeah. And again, I know we say it all the time, but it is a couch and it's so comfortable. And I don't know how you see any deer. I think you're making out the deer because I. It was so easy for me to nod off, fall asleep <laughs> during the, you know, in the middle of the afternoon, two o'clock. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm ready to take a nap. That's when it's the roughest. Oh, it uh, is. And it, put add a little bit of this breeze that we've had the last few weeks, mm-hmm. and that tree just has Rocks just you. a little bit of motion in it. Right. And I've caught myself like I, I I'll be leaning, and. That it'll start rocking and my eyes get heavier and mm-hmm. it's so this it, is it's a, hypnotizing. It's a two person stand. It's so, like uh, a two and a half person. So stand. that that couch seat. Yeah, and it's a hawk, right? Yes. Is it individual seats or is it one long bench? Two individual, individual seats. Thank goodness, or you'd be laying up there, right? <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. Right, but the there's a nice armrest, but it kind of levers up but and it has a little bit you could you could if you wanted to try it yes fetal but position it up you could probably. why would you when you can put your backpack with satellite tv and <laughs> your, your grizzly cooler did he leave his backpack there? hanging up there and your camp stove and yeah. and his shower like you Trigger know kyle, talk, kyle talked about <laughs> having a camp shower in his and you probably could in this one it's yeah it, it, he has it like anyway it's just the other chairs you can put anything you want and it's so accessible and you just it's just a nice situation and it's fairly open um you you can see in all directions so anyway i don't i didn't mind that that's what i'm getting at it doesn't sound like you did so i did uh uh i tell you i have this one hang on stand where the tree leans forward so i can't even sit up straight (laughs) in my stand oh my (laughs) It's so great. Yeah. <laughs> For those all it's day in the right sits. spot, though. That's where I killed that buck. But yeah, Sylvester Stallone it's not comfortable. Use it. Yeah, I don't think he would. Yeah. <laughs> this this sounds horrible, what you had to go through. <laughs> Bless my heart, right? Yeah. Uh, so so did you find this high just laying somewhere? So, like, yeah. That's yeah, what it, probably it, happened. Bucky was using it to keep warm in his <laughs> travel blanket. That he found. He had a. Lined with like tauntaun. Yeah. <laughs> it's so warm. I think it's warmer than deer. That's what I've heard. Yeah. But anyway, so it, again, perfect situation. Um, everything works out. Uh, 520. It's like, uh, it, it just, you know, here comes this deer filtering down through. Bucky says, they're going to be on the right, so you might as well sit on the left okay. side. Or you sit on the left side so you can use the, the, the rest of the stand as a, as a shooting rail, right? You're like You yeah. have all these options and, uh, for shooting rails and things like that. Um, th- so he, just like clockwork, it comes down through. It's, I arranged it. It's 55 yards. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm... You know, it's just <laughs> textbook. That just a touch high at 50 yards was just taken care of. Because <laughs> the dough stopped at 55. Yeah. <laughs> Yahtzee. Um, and I, w- I 
I don't know, honestly, if there was other deer around. So I, I took the, the scope, put it up on nine power, Yeah. made sure it wasn't a button buck. I couldn't see anything. Yeah. You know, it was a doe. Yep. And uh, everything was, you know, all systems go. Um, Send it. She read the script. Read <laughs> the script. I, I, you know, I made it happen. That's and sweet. Perfect. Another perfect shot. Yeah. Did you see her go down? Saw her drop. Nice. Awesome. Saw a drop. You take awesome. many muzzle loader deer? No. This is like my second one. Is it? You got one last year, right? No. You I didn't, didn't have an inline last year. Your other. I sold my inline because while we were duck hunting, pheasant hunting, I, this is like shotgun season. We're getting ready to be. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You know, slug I guns. never get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Slug guns are different, right? Yeah. You know, with, but did you. Sorry, that was, that's all right. I, I, I'm, I, I thought you had. I thought you killed a muzzleloader deer last year. No, never mind. Oh wait, no. Oh my God, I did. So, um, my buddy Brandon's farm. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. totally forgot about that. Why did I do that? I don't know. Well, anyway, there you go. You're right, and I'm wrong. You're the best. I'm. <laughs> I'm the worst. As long as you're ready to admit that. You're good looking. We can, that's on tape. Attractive. That's been recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Steve. I'll edit it. Got it. <laughs> yeah. No, Brandon. Um, I love. That's a beautiful little ranch that Kim. he has. You know, it's a cool little place. Little pinch point. You know, situation between two fields and a fence. And they just, they come out of one field to go into another. And you just, you know. Like, I don't know, I spent a little bit of time talking about it last time. Mm-hmm. This doe up on the mountain, Bucky stand, one more time, I'll tell you how great it is. Mm-hmm. I I take the doe, um, I, I go, you know, give it its time that it needs, and then I go down, and, uh, and Bucky's, like, he's my go-to guy, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I got to, like... Well, yeah. And he doesn't live that far away, so if you're going to have you know a pack mule or something like that or dude i just shot a deer bring the honey buns uh he's <laughs> dude, he's the dude right yeah mm-hmm. i he had family plans and um but i said to him i'm like if you're cool you know you know or you can get away or whatever like i don't know what's going on just if i kill a deer he's like yes i'll be there don't worry about yeah. it yeah we'll make something happen i don't so I'm like, I killed a deer. And then he's like, well, do you, do you need me? I'm like, I killed a deer. You know? He's like, okay, I'm getting dressed, but are you sure? Because I can stay here with my family. <laughs> <laughs> I can stay here where it's I was, warm. I was dressed and in the car backing out. Well, it, it, it seemed like it took some coats to no, get you up. But. Well, I was... Just verifying, are you, are you got no? It, and then I was like, no, I'm gonna go help this guy. This, so, this is my brother. I'm no. you are a peach, Bucky, right? And right? that I, Bucky sounds like a keeper. I was, he is. so I said, <laughs> let in me the vehicle let, in reverse. I'm like, let I called him. I got down. I got, I, you know, I'm like, she's not that far from that from the tram road. Mm-hmm. If I can get her there, it's gonna be better, right. and uh. And so I, I ended up getting the to the tram road, and I'm like, I realize, you know what? <laughs> it's downhill. It's all downhill. <laughs> I can handle this. Like this is not a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. pulled a, a, a bigger deer. We talked about that last week. Out of a ravine. It was a roller coaster. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> like this is nothing. I'm walking downhill. Are you kidding? So not only does he have a couch in the sky, <laughs> with, but his drags are all downhill. downhill. Completely. Not even like a not, little bit uphill. Not one yeah. step uphill. Perfect. And if you that, get it to the tram road, you barely, it's, there's no rocks to negotiate. Like yeah. it's just. That's what stand placement is all about. That, that's what it's Stand that's placement awesome. chapter one. That's why I've got the gray beard. Well played. <laughs> I guess so. That's now awesome. that in retrospect, I would have given you the other one to, uh, you know, you got to put some time in. Well, <laughs> let me be the first to say congratulations. Congratulations, Will. congratulations Will. Will. That's so a beautiful your, girl. A buck and a doe. Is your deer already, season over? And it's and not even November. Eight uh, days span. 
too. Like seven day span, really. It was Saturday to Saturday. I call that a week. Yeah. <laughs> it's a week where I come from, Buck. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's uh, my tags filled. It's a half a fort, fort, <laughs> That's a half fortnight. Oh, oh we're that doing is man. cool. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm just ready over for the moon right now. I'm ready, ready for, for Fez. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I still got a uh, couple more tags out there if it if it can happen, but uh yeah. you know, whatever. You got I, a couple I, more dough. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, but you know it is what it is. Yeah, or maybe if Ryan doesn't tag out, I can, you know, hang out with him later on in the year. I got a spot up at the cabin. Yeah. You like the sound of leaves falling, Will? I got <laughs> a spot <laughs> for you. You had any luck, Brian? I you've been out a few times. Yeah, right? well, last last uh, last week I was able to get a hold of you guys. And uh, yeah, we heard, yeah, thank goodness. Yeah, <laughs> we have another episode here, yeah. but yeah, you sent us a, actually. I want to make yeah. sure we, we say this you sent us a picture on your way to the stand your first time out, I think it was, of some deer that you had seen on the road while you're driving to your first hunt of the season, yeah. Yeah, it was. I think it was the sixteenth or seventeenth or maybe eighth. Because it, it, was, it was early on. It was. It was the the. I think it was the first time that I was able to get out. And I couldn't get over how beautiful that buck was. Yeah. In your picture. I found out it's, after further looking at that video uh-huh. that is the buck that I was able to take. That's a I, nice I killed. deer. So that doesn't cool. even make sense. Yeah, I I just I was looking through some. You know, trying to clear some space in my camera or my uh, trying to clear some space in my phone, going through some pictures and deleting and editing some uh, pictures and video. And and the further and the closer that I looked at that video, I thought that's not just an eight point. I said that's got a a fifth point on the right side. And then I stopped it and zoomed it in. I'm like, that's Henry. That's the nine. That's the that's, nine point. That's, that's my Henry. nine point. <laughs> yeah. So his, his, Mitchell, <laughs> <laughs> that left side main beam comes out and flattens out um and kind of curls in a little bit lower is a little not as symmetrical on the left and and sure enough that's the buck so uh if you if you guys want to hop on my instagram page uh at pick diesel i I posted that video today so (laughs) it's not um, a shameless plug at all (laughs) no go to to pick diesel.com um but yeah it it was on there like that picture he might send you cooler (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but yeah it was cool that was so that was my first uh, encounter with that deer and i had it uh um you know on the hoof and i had a couple pictures uh, um on trail camera so i i'd seen that buck and and had another encounter with him with my bow in the hand um and that he came out at last light at about 75 yards and all i could do is just glass them and look and and wait till it got dark enough for me to me to get down mm-hmm. out of the stand uh but it, it all came together last thursday um and i was able to to harvest Very that cool. buck and uh ha- had a, a, a it was a great hunt it was a short hunt um but uh still it was it was great to get out and, and sometimes those down. short hunts are okay it, too. it was nice there yeah. was plenty of daylight i was able to get to it get them out of the woods <laughs> skin them right out as it was getting dark uh you know no headlamps required uh but uh but since then i, I haven't been able to get out i had uh, m- my wife uh unfortunately had a a death in her family i had to deal with that and help her and, and be with the, with family but uh this weekend uh, i'm gonna grab the bow again and uh and get out with some archer gear and i also have a few doe tags that uh i want to i want to fill uh down there in maryland we have we have plenty of tags and plenty of deer so uh nice mike i want to break in that that matthews verdicts and uh and and knock one down with that so um get a little blood on the limbs there uh, you'll be all right yeah yeah did you do you like i I was gonna say too i did the same thing like 520 i was able to get out in plenty of daylight yeah you know i i just it is insane right you yeah know, to have that ability yeah 520 and then yeah, yeah. I, I, I looked at my it's so awesome how good we are yeah yeah it's amazing <laughs> yeah wouldn't that be great right yeah. if you brought down a deer you know i just like to see a couple okay yeah <laughs> how's that sound guys <laughs> Did either you let Do you your not deer? remember me playing a video with the sound of leaves while fall? I was in <laughs> the <laughs> tree stand? stand. <laughs> Sorry, I, I take it back. Deer. Congratulations, you guys. I'm, I am happy for you. Hey, the rut's coming are. up, Ryan, if you haven't That's heard. Right. You, you, it you, is coming. Is it the moon or is it daylight or is it the Just be temperature? In the, it's be in the woods. Melatonin. Be in the woods. 
get outdoors. It's about, all about yeah. the tone. Did and speed either of the did either one of you let your deer hang? No, I, I did. You did. Yeah. Okay. That. that I want to talk do about you have that a cooler? more. Well, the, the, the my in laws have, have a, an old farm a cave. It it, it it's, it's a, an old milk house, and so it's probably What's a, a milk house where they used to house milk, milk cows. Things. Milk cows. Milk cows. Uh, oh, yeah. Milk cows in a milk house. A milk house. And so it's an old brick structure that holds cold, old lower deer. temperatures Dead very deer. well. Okay. It held that deer. It holds all of our deer during deer season. Yeah. Um, so I, I knew it was going to get down into the 40s that night, and um, I, I let it hang. Um, I skinned it let it hang in there and the following day got back it, it got to i think 61 or 62 yeah but when i got off of work and got back into the building and and touched that deer it was cool to the touch it what was still it? cool so um i let it hang that night the next night went back and quartered it and put it in the fridge <laughs> I, have, I have an extra refrigerator down in my basement uh and again with you know with with uh, some family issues and concerns uh that thing is still in the fridge so is it? yeah so yep so it's been it's been a what a week yeah so tomorrow night my goal is to process this deer um my wife and i love deer roast we love crock pots we love smoking uh you know big roast so yeah. we will roast the hind quarters i'll try to get as many roasts out of the hind quarters that I, as i can uh we'll cut up the tenderloin uh um, and the back straps and then the front shoulders we usually grind for burger uh, mm. so i'll i'll do all that tomorrow night and uh, and get that taken care of yeah so yeah, Sounds but, like a busy night, but a good night. Yeah. It is. A it's going to be a That's good great. night. Yep. Will, you said you didn't let yours hang. No. So you, you got it to, you processed it right away? Just the overnight. Uh, okay. You know, it was, I got it home and we, you know, it was cold enough overnight. Yeah. To let it hang. Let it hang. But not like, not like a week or You weren't whatever. aging it. I wasn't yeah, trying to. No. And to, we've, historically, we've never done that. I say we, you know, myself and my family and my in-laws, it, you know, the most we let deer hang, um, if it's cold enough, is probably two to three nights. And then we'll usually get on, you know, deboning it and processing it and kind of deciding what we want to do, whether we're going to do bologna or jerky or, you know, grind it up for, for burger. Uh, so usually within a week, um, the deer is usually processed, but, um, again, you know, extenuating mm. circumstances didn't allow me to do it this time, but, uh, yeah, sure. so it, it'll get done. It'll get done tomorrow. Cool. When this episode is released, mm -hmm. right, Ryan, we'll have uh, a few days left to sign up for our Grizzly Cooler oh, giveaway, yeah. cooler right? Cooler giveaway, yes. Yeah. How do people do that? Remind me. They need to jump over to our Facebook page. Yes. Right. Find that video. Yes. And in the video, they'll find all the instructions. But essentially, make sure you like Rutten River Pursuit Podcast Facebook page. Make sure you like Quest Hunt Co.'s Facebook page. Jump over to Grizzly Cooler's Facebook page and like that. But the way to get entered into the contest, just tag three of your friends in the comments from that original video, and you're entered. And, That's it. And when's the drawing? November 7th. We're going to go live on November 7th. 2019. <laughs> Thanks for yeah, clarifying that. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, yeah, it's going to be two weeks. Two, so two, two weeks, weeks from yeah. when the video aired yeah. initially. Um, it'll be November 7th. We're going to go live and announce both the winners. We've got two coolers giving away two. two Those are nice two coolers. coolers. Oh, they're so yeah. sweet. Kind of wish we didn't have to give them away. I know. Yeah. Can't we uh, just give one away? Uh, well, that's why guys like Kyle are entering the contest. Yeah. <laughs> Did you <laughs> see that? I'm tagging him. Come on, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> If you're related to the podcast, you can't yet. Uh, Sorry, you show bud. me that in the bylaws, bud. I'm entering. <laughs> let's, let's see what Wouldn't happens. Wouldn't that be funny when you announce the winner? And the uh, winner is me. Ryan Madeira. Who's the other winner? <laughs> Good luck, Ryan. Good Turns luck. out, guys, we only have one of these coolers to give away. Oh, what? Uh, Kyle won, too? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Oh. Now, uh, but yeah, check out the video. It'll be awesome. Cool. We, but we're getting some extra comments too. Like, you know, old Pellet likes Will's new tires on that truck. Yeah. You know, what the Gourmet we, Pelé is all over that, that he message. He right likes there. your new shoes. He's a peach. Yeah. yeah. That you gotta love that Pellet. He sounds like a keeper. <laughs> he is. He is. Indeed. <laughs> Let me be the first to say that those are some nice looking tires you got on your truck. <laughs> oh, Man. Listen, it, 
you gotta thank uh mount zion mount off zion road. off road yeah yeah they, they just I couldn't good. take those other tires much longer i'm sorry they, yeah I, <laughs> they told me why they were wearing and stuff like that yeah yeah tires expand and they're, they're the knobby things that yeah I, I just i didn't choose them they came with the truck and right right they chose you <laughs> <laughs> so and he chose to change them yeah yep. i yeah. definitely yeah. needed a new set so well, that's cool the, the guys over at mount zion were just awesome super good like saw the earth kind of you know real informational like I, i'm kind of new to the lifted truck game so yeah um it's just they have all the answers we should get them on the podcast you should stop over there hey now that's Check my them job out. to say that kind of stuff get some, we should get them on the get podcast. Some new shoes Let for your truck first to say we should get them on the podcast. <laughs> new truck shoes yeah love it. Treads. love it love it love it i think we did this current some justice you know we justice. did bud. boys i love it stevie why don't you tell me a little bit about this month's other sponsor this month is also brought to you in part by miser creative llc rutten river pursuits podcast is a production of miser creative llc and if you're interested in starting your own podcast or if you need help creating video content for social media Look us up. Give Will an email at will at ruttenriverpursuits.com for more information or pricing options. Ooh, I love that Miser Creative. Can't get enough of that stuff. I know I can't. Bucky. Yeah, buddy. Tell me, where can folks find us? Up in the trees, dude. Everybody can find us out at ruttenriverpursuits.com. Or on all the social medias like Facebook and Instagram. At Rutten River Pursuits. And Twitters. Yep. And on the YouTubes, you can find us at Rutten River Pursuits Podcast. Podcast. And of course, you can download this episode and all episodes on Spotify, iHeartRadio, and Apple Podcast. I love using Spotify. That's I such do. a cool That's app. Spotify is a it's cool solid. app. Mm-hmm. Great stuff. While you're there, give us some rates and reviews and stuff. Yeah, please. The love apples. it. Good job, boys. Good Thanks luck to everybody who's still got tags like me. Oh, yeah. So Plenty still of tags. Got tags. You got tags? Yeah. I got tags. I haven't got seen tags. one yet. Got tags. See you, boys. Nice. Get out the I'm going to guess that there are probably unsuccessful breeding sessions. Ask my wife. Yeah, well, <laughs> I was going to say, there's a, woo! <laughs> I kind of want to, when in doubt, I'm going to back out. Yep. A couple weeks ago, I had a, a, a small buck make vocalizations under the tree. Really? Yeah. What do you say? Bark. What the <laughs> Bart? That's what he said. <laughs> that boy's scun more stuff than I ever will. I, I want to be around to watch him skin something sometime. Just yeah. so I can be like, Are you sure you're doing that right? You're right. Just to <laughs> question him on a few things. Yeah. You need some help there, bud? If <laughs> you really want to get arrogant and weird, uh, Go on. <laughs> Sounds right up our alley. <laughs> I say it to his dad. <laughs> See what happens. I don't mean to be arrogant and weird, but Sorry, that no, that's all right. I, I, I'm, I, I thought you had. I thought you killed a muzzleloader deer last year. No, never mind. Oh wait, no. Oh my God, I did. So, um, my buddy Brandon's farm. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. totally forgot about that. Why did I do that? I don't know. Well, anyway, there you go. You're right, and I'm wrong. You're the best. I'm. <laughs> I'm the worst. As long as you're ready to admit that. You're good looking. We can, that's on tape. Attractive. That's been recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Steve. I'll edit it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>